Welcome back, kids, to the dojo. I hope I didn't do this one already. Let's hope I didn't do this video already. Remember, see yourself at the final table. Envision it, the details, the feelings, the hands. Because if you can see it, it's already written. In Mississippi, a modern-day Mavericks strike gold as they steam their way towards another million-dollar payday tonight on the World Poker Tour. The World Poker Tour is a series of international poker tournaments featuring the biggest games. The greatest players and the largest payouts on the planet. In Tunica, six players clash over a five million dollar prize pool. It's a melee in Mississippi tonight on the World Poker Tour. Hi everyone, welcome to the World Poker Tour. We're in Tunica, Mississippi on the banks of the mighty Mississippi for the final table of the five million dollar World Poker Open. Advance like they say in the South. How y'all doing? Well, you know, Mike, I'm a little jet lagged, to tell you the truth. I mean, I should have paid more attention to the word world on the World Poker Tour before I took the job. I mean, last week we were in the Bahamas having a great time in the sun in that country's first major poker tournament. And then we paddle boated up the Mississippi to the birthplace of poker, the American South, where they have been playing the great American card game for the last 150 years. You're right, Vince. The history of poker goes right through Mississippi and right through this great tournament. And the cream sure rises at the top in the South. 512 players started this event four days ago. We are down to our final six, but only one is going to walk away as WPT champion and a million and a half dollars rich. Well, this promises to be a classic. Let's go down to the table and meet the players. Today's short stack is 28-year-old newcomer, electronic engineer Raja Katamuri from Irving, Texas. Now, Raj made it here by investing only $200 in a satellite, and he has a little over $300,000 in chips right now. In seat number one is another new face to the World Poker Tour from Hollywood, Florida, 24-year-old former poker dealer Michael the Grinder Mizraki. Michael's starting out in fifth chip position today with 515,000 in chips. Now, today's youngest player is a 23-year-old... The debut of Mizraki, let's see how he does. ...from of Wisconsin, John Stoltzman. Now, John made the final table by winning a $1,000 super satellite, and he's got 517,000 in chips. In seat number six, starting out with 1.1 million in chips, is poker's undeniable superstar, 30-year-old Daniel Negreanu. This is Daniel's third WPT final table this season, and he's already got two WPT titles under his belt. Kid poker on a rush, but in second chip position, it is Las Vegas pro and poker icon. He is 43-year-old Scotty Wynn. He's had some tough luck on the WPT in the past. Let's see if he can bring here. the title Let's see how they play. He's got 1.2 million. And our chip leader, one of the best all-around poker players in the world, is 49-year-old poker pro Chow Chang from Las Vegas, Nevada. Chow plays in the biggest cash games in the world on a daily basis, and he comes to this final table with 1.4 million in chips. Another stumble on those cards, and get them in the air. Good luck, gentlemen. Well, here we go. The World Poker Open about to get underway. Vince, it's big poker in the South. Yeah, that's right, and the winner will take home $1.5 million. Of course, we are playing No Limit Texas Hold'em. Two cards in your hand, five in the middle to make your best five-card poker hand. Action's going to be on John Stoltzman to act first. He quickly throws away ace, two, so hearts. Chow Chang throwing away his king eight. Around to Raj, he folds. And now it is Scotty Wayne, a superstar player. He looks down at just an awful seven deuce off suit. That's the worst starting hand in Holden Poker. He looks like he's just. Oh, yeah, he's going to fold. Look at Daniel Aguano right behind with a wire pit of tens. That's unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Come on, raise it. Make it 60,000. He's going to pop it up with a 210, 60,000 to go. Only one to beat is Michael Mizraki, the grinder. And look at this, he's got a pair of kings wired. First time gamblers. God damn. I'm going to re I figured you might do that. I really had a feeling. He says he's going over the top with it. I don't blame him. Yep. Big fireworks potential right here on hand number one, folks. I keep stuck. 
Raise it 150,000. Okay, I'm going to make it. What's it, Daniel? 150 more. I'm going to make it $1 million. He's going to make it a million dollars. Well, you know the grinder's not going to throw away two kings here. He quickly calls. Daniel's in quicksand here. Oh, on hand number one, over a million dollar pile already. Nice hand, sir. First hand, Daniel absolutely startled with this guy. <laughs> Pretty sick. It just played out perfectly for Miss Rocky because it looked like he was playing back at Daniel's Rays. Ooh, when the flop comes, 986, giving Daniel Negrano a straight draw. So Daniel needs to catch a 10 or a 7. If you don't overvalue a pair coming in, you don't overplay it coming out. I feel a 7. Was that a 7? The way Daniel's been going lately, he's been so hot. Let's see if he gets lucky. I mean, Not final so table is like a yeah. couple of people in the stand. But well, early in the tournament, to be aware. Well, if he does so, well, the two, the the two, two cards, the one of the cards own you. Okay, we own the fucking cards. We're not going to let two cards beat us. It doesn't matter. Aces ain't going to win you nothing. It's small, hot, or you're fucked. So don't even, like, don't, you're not waiting for aces, man. You're making your own spots with hands, hitting, bluffing, betting, doing what you gotta do. Or, to, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Daniel McGrath taking a back, shaking his head. What can you do? You got your tens? And you see, he looks a little stunned here. So Michaels was rocking on the very first hand here at Tunica, doubling up. Well, how great is that? You go up against the hottest guy on the tour, you double up on hand number one against him. What does that do for your confidence? My name is Michael Mizraki. They call me the grinder, and I am a machine. Play against those guys have no fear. I think they should fear me more than I should fear them. You know, we've got three Goliaths at this table, and Daniel Negrano, Scotty Wynn, and Chow Chang, and three relative unknowns, first-timers on a World Poker Tour final table and relatively inexperienced in the poker world, so it's going to be fun to watch. Gentlemen, John Stokes from Jack 10. Look at this, a 23-year-old from the University of Wisconsin is going to raise it, makes it 70000 to go with Jack 10 off suit. Chow Chang throwing away his 9 to 5. Now to Raj, he looks down at Jack 8 off suit. He folds. And then it is Scotty win a former world champion. This time he's got a 6 off suit. It's not the kind of hand you're crazy about when your opponent raises you. But he's already invested. He's the big blind. Yep, it's going to cost him 50000 more to call, and Scotty's going to look him up here. And we can see Scotty has the best hand, but he doesn't know it. Well, maybe he does, but here comes the flop. <laughs> All right, flop is king 9-9. Nine, nine. Doesn't help Scotty, but it gives an inside straight draw to John Stoltzman. Scotty quickly checks. As does John. So here we go to the turn. Well, a 10 comes off. Now that gives John two pair, 10s and 9s. Scotty checks again. And John checks the two 10s. He's going to play this slow. Here comes the river. And now a 9 comes off, putting three 9s on the board. John backing into a full house there. Scotty reaching for chips with his ace high. Saw his opponent check a couple times. He's going to take a stab at this with the ace high. John is quickly looking him up. He's called it. Yeah, John's going to call him down that spot with any pair. He had the two tens. He made the full house. So John Stoltzman, the youngster from Wisconsin, taking down the pot. From my view, for Scotty to bet that hand at the river rents, you have to put your opponent exactly on ace, queen, or ace jack, meaning if you lead out and bet, he may throw that hand away, and you can pick up that pot. Rather than split it with your opponent, you're going to win it all. You know, your opponent's going to call you with a pair there, so there's no great value in betting there in the end, in my opinion. John Stoltzman, 23 years old, came here straight from prom night, and looking good here in Tunica. John folds. Now we're around with another one of the glass. He's got a glass of a hand, two kings. Chow Chang making it 60,000 to go with the Cowboys. Into Raj. Now Raj has got a hand too. He's got big oh, slick. Wow. He's also on the short stack, Vince. 
The electronic engineer thinking this through. He's got a big hand. Little does he know what's on his right. I just can't believe you're not going to go with this hand. One of the best hands you can pick up, Ace Kings, and no one will hold him. Yeah, but he's doing it. Scotty's out. Daniel's out. Right his hand. Back around to Chow. He's quickly called it. So Raj is not going to like that. The 28-year-old from Irving, Texas, in trouble here. What a bad place to be, but there's five cars. Of course, little fucking Wien on the parade. Daniel is like, I got a news. Fuck you. Flop is 10-9-3. Not good for him so far. Well, what that means is he must catch an ace or two running cards to make an ace high straight. Otherwise, he's going to be our sixth place finisher. Let's get rid of the dead weight anyway. I want to get the pros playing. Here comes the turn card. Well, it's a jab. Now, that does give Raj the ace high straight draw. So he can now catch a queen and win this pot. He can also catch an ace to win it. Well, he's got outs and he's going to need the big suck out. Let's see the river. Well, it's a six of diamonds. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's over for Raj. Raj Murray had less play time than Rudy. He's our sixth place finisher. Well, he got in there in a $200 satellite advance. He'll be taking home nearly a quarter of a million dollars. A good parlay for him. He's gone today, but you can't fault him for going all in right there with Ace King. We are down to five players. Stay tuned. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Superstar Scotty went going out. Round the down. He folds. Michael must rock you to ace five of spades. Well, he's going to raise it on the button. Comes in for 62,000. 62. Substantial raise. John Stoltzman going out. Yeah. Round to Chow. Now he's the chip leader here. He only has a king six off suit. Does this play every pot? Oh, yeah. Well, what he's doing is making a statement here. You're not going to run over my blinds. Don't try to steal them all day long. I'm a defender. He's sending a message. Here comes the flop. And he's hit lightning in the jar. He's flopped the top two pair. And he nonchalantly checks it. But look at this. Michael has flopped the nut flush draw in spades. We could see some serious fireworks here, folks. Oh, and he's coming out. He's back at 70,000. Yeah. Let's see how the master child plays this. Flops two pairs. It's a matter if he's just going to call and try to reel his opponent in, or if he's going to raise him right now. Oh, this guy's got some Pacino in him. Uh -oh. Nice acting job, casually calling. Yeah. He's just calling here. Going to try to trap him. So here comes the turn card. Oh, it's an ace. Chow quickly checks again. The grinder, potential disaster for this guy. And he's got the top pair and the nut flush draw. Hey, really big hand. And Chow just sucking him in. Look at this, betting 130,000. Well, you can't blame him for betting here. No. Well, Chow's going all in. Of course, he's gone over the top. Well, he's going to make him pay for that draw. Harry Potter, baby, let's go. Let's do him. And let me tell you, folks, right now the grinder is grinding out a serious problem that he's got. He's grinded a headache right here. This is a oh, man. potential broke time. Oh. It's a tough spot right there, man. Very real tough, because I know that the old me is like insta-calling. You know what I mean? So, but that stuff. Um, final table, maybe a little easier. You're closer to the end. You can be like, fuck it. But it's it's a big decision here, man. It's, you got to believe that the ace, he didn't give a shit about the ace. But we'll see what happens. And what he knows is he's got outs, even if Chow has the best hand right now. He's got two aces and the nut flush draw. But still, what he's thinking about is, I raised before the flop chow called me. 
Now so checked on the flop when I bet he called again, and now he's check raised me all in on the turn here. When you play a pot against a chip leader, you can go out at any moment. And if the grinder plays this pot and loses it, he'll be out in fifth place just that fast. And Charles breathing heavy. Why is the big hand laying down? Oh man, he's gonna lay this down. And he shows him the hand. Charles thinking, wow, what a lay down this kid made. good, okay. I guarantee you. Wow. Great lay down, great lay down. That's why he's the grinder. He is impressed that a kid can lay that kind of hand down against him. I can't believe you, ladies. Now look at this. We're going to see the one that came, and it's a jack of diamonds. It was a tremendous lay down. He would not have caught. That, folks, was a big lay down. He's still alive. He's still got a shot at that 1.5 million because he made that great lay down. And Chow Chang, the former Chinese cook, cooking right here at Tunica. My name is Chao Xiang. I live in Las Vegas. I'm a professional poker player. I gotta tell you, what a great lay down. Great lay down. A lot of people are like, Pff. I guarantee you, we're gonna see most people fucking play that hand out. So, those are the differences, man. That's what gets you through. Those those great sniff outs, those great lay downs. Now don't yeah, you know, don't worry about it. Don't look to make a great fold. You know the situation will arise and you'll know it because you'll be in the moment. Well, I can keep thinking about that last hand now. Because I don't believe in defending the blinds with garbage. So we watch his example of this garbage hitting. And yeah, he got lucky there. And if you can afford to do it, and you're at a final table, great. But in the middle of a tournament, when we're trying to fucking make it, you don't play garbage like that. We don't play with ego. We move along. Wide pair of eights. And it just limps in in first position with the two eights. Found with King Seven suited folds. Now the great player Scotty Wynn looks down at Ace Deuce of Clubs. The button in front of him. Yeah, he's gonna call. Daniel sticking around with Dolly Parton nine to five. Well, Michael knocks the table. This Rocky with ten seven. We're playing friendly poker here, Tunica. So we got four way action here in Chow saying, "Hey, give me back my hand. I like to be in this pot." Flop is 10-5-5. Five, five. Oh, look at this, the grotto hitting three fives on the flop. And quickly check. Show tunes going off in his head. Now Michael, with the two tens, he's gonna bet here. He's got two pair, he's betting now. Stolfman with the eights and fives. He likes the action, he's coming in as well. And look at this, Scotty has flopped the nut flush draw. And we're seeing a bet and call right here. Is he trying to make a move here, Vince, to pick up this pot, or is he going to call? That's for the break. Oh, man. He is going to raise it to the delight of Kid Poker, Daniel Negrano. Look at him. Well, Daniel, he thought he was trapping somebody. Now he's wondering if he's going to be trapped here. One guy's bad, another guy's cold, another guy's come over the top, and he's got three fives. 140 and 55. Come on. He's going all in. He's on the short stack. He's just saying, well, if I got this hand beat, good luck to him. Now, what does the grinder do? He's got his silly little tens and fives. Now, they don't look too strong now. We've been called, raised, and moved in on. No. Knows he's drawn up enough flush. 
Yeah. So I'm going to have to throw a hand there. I had to call the pop today. He's going to make the call. Well, Daniel figured out what he had right away when it took him that long to call. So here we go. It's three fives for Daniel. Scotty stands up with a nut flush draw. Daniel Negrano, the two-time winner this season on the World Poker Tour, must win this pot to stay alive here. Kid Poker has to sweat this out. Two more cards. Looking for Scotty. Right back. Stay with us from Tunica here on the World Poker Tour. If he should knock Daniel out of this. So Scotty has to catch a club that's not the nine of clubs. Let's see if he can do it. Well, the six of spades comes on the turn. Not going to help Scotty so far. Well, the scenario does not change. Now Scotty cannot catch the nine of clubs or the six of clubs. He must catch a club that doesn't pair nines or sixes. Can Scotty get a little luck on the World Poker Tour? We will see. Here we go with the river. Well, the board pairs tens. Scotty Wynn not getting lucky. Can't bust Daniel Negrano out of there. That's going to sting a little bit. Well, yeah, it's definitely going to sting some. And push it. This action's going to be on Chow and Folds. To Scotty Wynn. This time he has 10 8 off suit. Not interested. Daniel in position on the button, hooks a jack five and lays it down. And now it is on the small blind, Michael Misraki. He has 10 8 in his hand. And he's going to limp in, call out of the small blind. John says, Give us a fly. He's got a miserable little 9 6 off suit. So the battle of the blinds. 10 8 versus 9 6. Here comes a flop. And the flop comes queen jack five. The grinder with the gut shot straight draw. He checks, and John quickly checks the nine high. Here comes the turn. The deuce comes on. Doesn't help either player. Okay. Michael quickly checks. John's going to take a stab. He's making a bet here. Yeah, he's bluffing at the pot, betting 50,000. That's the grinder. It's just the gut shot straight draw. He's going to raise advance. Stop the madness. He's bet $140,000. And remember, folks, he's on the short stack at the table, yet still making a move like... Only because it's it's not it's not one hundred percent, but I mean we feel it a lot. The robotic bet, it was like it was too quick. You know what I mean? That robotic bet, it, and I think Stoltzman kind of felt that because he's nervous. He's a kid, and I think he even felt that robotic bet. If he's playing back with this shithole hand, he felt that. Yes. What the heck is Johnny doing here? The 23 year old re raising again with a 9 6 here, folks. He's got no hand and no draw. Making a 300,000 to go on a stone bluff. Just great poker by both guys. You know, both have correctly sensed weakness in their opponent. And it looks like the guy who gets the last punch in is going to win this round. The grinder. Short stacked here, doesn't have many chips left. Yeah, got the gut shot straight draw. There's no way on God's earth he could think that the 10 high is the best hand now, the way the betting's gone. He's got to lay it down. Well, the grinder almost has to lay it down there, Vince. He's going to pass out the ski mask. Well, just chalk that one up to John. Another quick note is I felt like he should have bet the flop. Um, it was, it was scary enough. You let that fourth card come, you showed weakness checking that flop, and then you do the, the robotic re-raise. I felt, I mean, McGuinder's the best, but you know, you gotta try to recognize weakness if you see it. And I felt like, bet that flop, and then you, you find out there, he, he's, he was, he had nothing to do with that. He would've got the fuck out of there. So, I think... But at that flop, he waited till the turn, and he waited, and he checked again. He did that little check raise, and it was like so robotic that Stoltzman smelt it out. And Miss Rocky knew he was weak too. But wait, too, what are you gonna do then? Too late. We can't play perfect, but recognize it. 
Terrific poker instincts and great poker plans. My friends call me Johnny Blinder. Is the result of an unfortunate situation involving a paintball gun in my friend's eye. So. And he remembers this scenario last time. His opponent had an overpair over him. In this same situation. That was the first hand, you're right. Daniel's been his victim today. Oh, boy. You see the look on Daniel's face. It's another 300000 for him to call here. And if he should call, Mike, what a great position this would be. Like... So here's another position where you're looking at an all-in. You don't really have much stake in the game. So it's an easy bow out if you want. But you look at two sevens and you think, lucky seven is destiny. Don't let the cards tell you something. Your body will tell you something from the information, from the, what you're gathering if you're in the mode. And you realize that I don't have to get involved. I'm a coin flip at best because he's got two overs if he's bluffing. And if, and if you get a pair, I'm pretty much, you know, drawn dead. Unless there's a small pair. So you're taking some small percentage chance. For the most part, you're a coin flip at best or you're dominated at worst. So that's my rule of thumb. If I'm a coin flip at best, I don't do it. I don't have to be a coin flip at worst. Now, of course, when you're desperate and you're short, all the rules go out the window. Protect your stack. Make sure you get enough money to chase someone out. But right now, pff, he doesn't have to get involved. I'm assuming he will. We'll see what's up. Well, I'm going to double up. He would be dominating his hand. Well, he would ever be. Remember, because of the WPT cam, we saw John Stokes unfold an 8-7. Wow. So one of Daniel Simmons well. is in the muck. Motherfucking one outer, and on top of it, it's actually the card that Ms. Rocky wanted before the fucking flop. What a what a luck box bullshit. Straight. Wow, what's that? Look, seventy four. Oh, thank God. Here we get to make the pack. Oh, fuck me, but I put the over on it. Seventy four and five. So, what kind of drive piece? Well, what, is that even half time? Well, Michael, half time, right? That's the half time score? Yeah. 
Oh, so there's not third quarter in the third yet? Oh, okay. You're up update. Yeah, but you know the most second half, some of these lower scoring. That's crazy. They almost doubled the score. I knew they were going to outclass them. That's a nice little win. Nice little victory. It feels really good to play against the best, but. To be unlucky, that's the worst part about it. I wish I was luckier then, I had a good shot. But you played your cards right. Yeah, I played them right. Put him with put put the best hand, and 4.2 to 1 favorite. Nothing you can do. Vince, you gotta say one thing. He took that beat about as well as you can possibly take it. Folks, you're talking about $1.2 million in a World Poker Truth title, and he lost on a beat like that. Ooh, uh, that is painful. Uh, he's going to go on suicide watch, and we're going to go on a break. We're down to four. In turn, you guys, stay tuned. So we'll be fucking right back sick. We'll God. Sick. We're going on to the champ here. John Stoltzman with K5. 23-year-old from the University of Wisconsin. Raising it up to 100,000. Now he's on channel. He can't get it all day, seven. It throws away Dolly Parton, nine to five. Yeah. Scotty Wynn, capping his card, just got the jack ten of clubs. You know, it's the kind of hand you like to see flops with. He's the big blind already, got money invested. All right. Well, forget about seeing a flop. He's going to raise it and try to take it right here, Vince. Yes, he is. He's going to try to punish the young 23-year-old Johnny Blinder. See what he bets. Looks like it's 200,000. Can he push around this guy who we know didn't have the greatest starting hand? He's got a king five is all he has. Been raised 200,000. My tournament superstar, Scotty Wynn, when you see him squeeze the bill of his hat, I think he's trying to curve it around a little more so it hides his eyes, Vince. Obviously, Scotty getting a good read on him here, but he's not that strong. This time he shows a king, throws it away. And Scotty Wynn, the first thing that's gone right for him today so far. Uh, he is a great player, fun to watch. Just hasn't been getting lucky on the World Poker Tour. I mean, he's made the final table, I think, five times already. Maybe today's his day. We will see. You know, baby, I always get too confident. And I blow it, no matter how much you I have. I'm not going to go through a mistake like the past two, three, final event I've played. It's going to be different, baby. It's going to be fun today. So nicely done by Scotty Wayne, a true heavyweight in the poker world. I'm not actually talking about his real weight. Of course, Scotty has got a weight like about 125 pounds. And about 70 of those pounds are his chains that are around his neck. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. He is a heavyweight in the poker world. He is. As are Daniel Negrano and Chow Chang. And you just have to wonder... John Stoltzman, the lone David, up against three Goliaths here. Can he hang on? Uh, he's holding yeah. his own, but right now it's on Chow Chang. <laughs> Throws away a 6 3. Going around the sky, he picks up ace 10 on the button. Nice starting hand, four handed. You play, I'll play. <laughs> well, he is going to raise it. Comes in for 95,000. Okay, he's going to try to push into Kid Poker Daniel, who's got King Queen, another good starting hand. It is a nice hand. Kid Michael off. He's in the small blind, where he invests a little bit, and yes, he's going to make the call. Are you sure? John folds the seven deuce. So here we go. Daniel with King Queen, Scotty with Ace Ten. What kind of hand do you have when you call? I can't have anything. Anything from the deuce to the Ace. Now, yes, you. comes Queen. 7-5, a nice flop for Daniel. Absolutely hits top pair of queens, and he quickly checks it. Unless the chop is... Come on. Who the fuck checks that quick when they got it? When they, when, you know what I mean? That was the quickest check in the world. Be careful. Be, pay attention to how these people check. Because the, the, the hands are an extension of the mind. And... Sometimes they'll do that exaggerated, like, very slow check, like, showing you, like, 
oh, I'm ultra weak. Look at how slow and soft my check is. Pay attention to that. And then also pay attention to look at how fucking he instant checked. You know what I mean? It's like, really? You want to give away your week that quickly? No. He fucking has something. But Scotty, he's not paying attention, I guess. Man, Scotty, come closer, man. He's hoping Scotty continues to lead at Nice kid, nice catch, Scotty. Scotty checks right behind him. Here comes the turn card. There's a nine of spades comes off. Taking two spades out there in a potential straight. Card just did not help Scotty. Here comes Daniel. Daniel bets 200,000 with top pair. Just play for it. What is Scotty doing? He's going over the top with it. Look at this. 440,000 on just the A side, folks. And now you see the concerned look on Daniel's face here. I said, no matter what, it come on the turn. He's not concerned. You can play 6 8. Please, man. I said, no matter what, come on the turn. We read it, so I we were raised it. So I made up my mind. You said you don't play 6 8. The chances are if you had 6 8. Put down, down the beer, Scotty. Let's pause this one. In. All right, we're back. Hey, did this guy flop a set or has he got two aces? Let me look at him. You bluffing? Yeah, my God, yeah. I think you're not whole bluff us. He might not be, though. He might have something good. Superstar, baby. Scotty trash talking this. He does not believe Daniel. He is so wrong at this time. The only clever thing I can think of to say. Is uh, good in. Is all in. Well, Daniel's going all in. Over the top, all in. In case Scotty's on a draw, he's not going to let him draw it for nothing. He's going to punish him. And right now, Scotty Wynn is not feeling very well. That's the best I can do, dude. Those chains weighing extra heavy on Scotty's neck right now. 500. Daniel read it perfectly. Thought he was making a play at the pot. Indeed, he was. And now Scotty. Just the ace high, man. That's what he's be thinking about. He's going to take all his chips here. See, he was bluffing. <laughs> his only out is if he catches an ace. <laughs> I mean, you know, just Scotty. Abandoned ship here. Should have go out in before you. <laughs> he wouldn't be the first one. He thinks it's a game of chicken. First one in gets the dough. <laughs> 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 nanny, nanny, boo, boo. <laughs> Give him one of these. Well, Daniel's laughing at him now. He knows he's picked him off. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass him, me, and I don't want to embarrass him, you. So it's two and four and five. <laughs> oh, you're right about that, man. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, the egg is all over your face now, Scotty. Got to respect his nerve to attempt this. That's the only way he can possibly consider calling this bet. As if he believes the ace has the best hand. Well, maybe he thinks that at this point. Yeah, I'm just looking at Daniel. Does he look like Let go of the ball? ego, man. I finally figured out what you got. Took me a while. I think he has ace nine. Well, you're close, right? Daniel. He's got ace ten. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, <laughs> right. Not exactly, but a big fall. You're going to show me like loose falls this whole day? <laughs> Good, uh, the best hand here. He thinks this ace high is the best hand. Is. He thinks that Daniel is on some type of draw. Some kind of straight draw. Because the ego. Why every time I'm in WBT, I'm number four or fifth? If he knows <laughs> yeah. Negrano, Negrano don't buff like that. Not, not, maybe game. now he does, but not then. The yeah, so he's never going to pass the four hole. Do score? You really think I have do score? That's what you put me on? You don't see how After comfortable he is? I mean, come score? on. There's no self-awareness now. When the ego takes over, you lose all self-awareness. It's amazing. It's why you gotta fight. No, you can't fight. You better just have the capability to fucking ignore it. Because if you don't, you can't fight it. And you're fucked. Alright, man, we're playing next level. Well, he is gonna lay it down. It took him a long time. If he gets to the right decision, 
Now look at this. He's once he's trying to show him the hand. Mm. That hand's got it, or it's got it. Stay tight. There's more Southern style Texas Hold'em from Tunica here on the World Poker Tour. Scotty Wing. Queen Jack is tight. Look at this. He's not fooling around. He's putting it all out there with the Queen Jack. 455,000. I want to see a sweat when you have. So far, I got a good one. Another one like that or an ace. And we're coming. For sure. How long are you coming, man? Eight and five. Look at this. Daniel has king eight of clubs. I want him to come and marry me. Oh boy, hmm. Sky says I want him to come in. How much you got? I think Sky should just zip it. He's going to give Daniel the crown of all Such a mouth. There. Don't that's give so no information. 400,000 for Daniel to call here. So that's 405, right? Two more? Can you make this kind of call with just a king and an eight? He wouldn't think so. Huh. That would be uncanny. These ones are pretty. But Daniel, uh, he's thinking this is tasty. I can bust my friend out of here. Everything I see is matched from now on, fine. The only way he can make this call in my mind, Vince, is if absolutely he thinks Scotty is just making some kind of steam raise. This is a crazy call. Took the phone away from him last time. You can't make new, no, you, you can't make new no more. I think you're bluffing. Bad. Like, you might have, like, 9-4. <laughs> Very bad. Either that or ace junk. He's got 9-4 or ace junk. 8-3. Oh, shoot. Let's gamble with the kid, why not? Oh, Can you believe this? Just a minute. Yeah, he's rolling with the king of it. It's the best hand. I got you by a nose, bro. Yeah. However it comes out, he knows he's made the right call here with just the king eight. You win, you're back in it. Yeah. Yeah. These guys used to be friends, but when you're playing for 1.5, friends are overrated. But folks, to call $400,000 with king high, that takes a lot of heart. And a lot of poker instincts, and certainly Daniel Negrano's got both of those things. Here we go with the flop. Well, flop comes Jack 10 10. Scotty is out flopping. He now has the lead. And Daniel is going to have to catch a king or two running cards to make a straight or a flush to take Scotty out right now. A little break for Scotty Wing. Catches Jacks and Tens. Here comes the turn card. Can it hold up? Well, 90 diamonds on the turn. Now, what that means is Daniel must catch a queen or a seven to make a straight to win this pot. If a king comes up, that will give Scotty a straight, and therefore Daniel couldn't win then. Well, right now, the way Daniel's going, he can outdraw Picasso. Let's see if he does it here. No, he doesn't. A three comes up. He couldn't hit the open end of straight to take out Scotty win. Scotty lives on to fight some more. So a little bit of justice for the Prince of Poker, Scotty Wynn, five-time World Poker Tour final table player. Will this be his night? This guy is one of the great tournament players in the world, no question about it. Once again, he has over a million inches. And action's going to be on Dan Negrano, Kid Poker at this time, Queen Deuce of Diamonds. He lays it down. To John Stoltzman, I notice he's got the same hand that Daniel just had, the King Eight of Clubs, and he's going to raise it. Makes it two hundred thousand to go. Very popular hand right now. Now Chow takes down as a nine-four offsuit. Oh, Chow folds. And we're around to Scotty. He looks down at nine-eight of Spade. What kind of hand you want to see a flop with? But it's going to cost Scotty another hundred fifty thousand to call here. Where's my wife? You call him, baby? <laughs> oh, boy, he's going over the top with it. Scotty going all in here. A little surprised by this play, Vince. His opponent only has 370,000 left. So because of the pot odds, he could very well make this call with the King 8, even if he thought it was the worst. Oh, I call everybody, baby, 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 that's wrong to give me the chip. I call him, baby. <laughs> Well, it is an interesting raise. Can he get John Stoltzman out of this spot? I mean, mathematically, you're going to get called in this spot most of the time here, and you don't want to move all in with nine high in that situation, but I'm always hoping John will save his money and fold right here. I know that he would be great enough to make this call. <laughs> That's right, man. Nino would have called me so fast. 
John knows he's on the short stack. He's up against three true Goliaths of the poker world. Mines are so big. He knows in terms of odds, it's unlikely he's going to be more than a two to one underdog with a king eight in his hand. At some point, he's going to have to gamble if he's going to try to catch up and beat these guys. Is he going to do it here? Well, he's gambling. Go, go, go. Scotty is a substantial underdog now to win this pot. He has 9-8. His opponent has king-8. That is just a crushing call for Scotty win. Well, Scotty might have made a tactical error there moving all in. Because of the pot odds, you have to assume your opponent's going to call you. A very possible debacle here for Scotty Wynn. Well, let's see if he can get lucky here. If so, John Stoltz want to be our fourth. Another key point, pay attention to the stack sizes. Great bluff, I love the hand, but if Stoltzman had more, he folds. Stoltzman has less, he calls. You got to pay attention to that shit. Finisher. If not, Scotty Wynn will be on the short stack. Oh, a nightmare flop for Scotty. It's come ace, king, ten with two clubs. This debacle continues. On has two kings and a nut flush draw. And the only way Scotty can win this pot is to catch two running cards on 4th and 5th Street that help his hand. He's got a backdoor, a flush, or a straight, or nines and eights, and a four diamonds. That's it. It doesn't matter what comes on the river. John Stoltzman is going to double up right here. And yeah. Scotty must be wondering, what was I thinking there, moving all in in that situation? Just making mistakes. Just mistiming things. Tough time right now. At Tunica for Scotty Wynn. Well, he is on the short stack right now, but I can tell you, he is one of the great short stack players in the world, so he's down, but not out. We will see. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go again. Action on John Stoltzman, looks down at Jack 2, doesn't want any part of it. When I stay with guys and get you, they all worry. John has been very calm and patient here, staying out of the fray, folds a Jack 6. Damn, I still got 400,000. That's, that's a lot of dying, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's now, a looks down at Ace High, and he's going to move in with it. Call that, you don't like no money. Yeah, we're around the day on the ground there. Who believe the first card I sweat? Caught out the hill and a lot. Same one that's been the king of the world. Well, look at this. Can you believe this, Vance? That's the third consecutive time Scotty Wins moved all in, and the third time his opponent has picked up King Eight of Clubs. This is too bizarre. It's all good, baby. Please call. Please call. Damn, I just can't believe he's seeing the same hand as we can. It's funny. <laughs> the king fucking ate the clubs. It's like, if you don't have to get involved, you know what I mean? He would have saved himself that earlier pot. And now, now he'll be the underdog for sure. So it's, don't try to talk yourself into some like, the cards are kismet. No. The cards are cards. Don't have no emotion or tie to them, and they won't kill you. Never. Well, for nearly 400000 it's going to cost him 380000 to call him again. Why can't he lay down? He called me 600000 with King A. You think he's going to lay down? 
is evening back and forth. Can he get lucky and double up? Because he is on the ropes right now. Well, nearly 900,000 out there, so if he can win this pot, he is right in the thick of things. If not, Scotty Wynn's going to be our fourth place finisher. Give me the flop he had, or no, wait, you flopped the ace that time. Give me a different flop. That's right, man, give me a different flop. All right, well, here comes the flop. Oh, oh. King 8-5. King 8 Daniel has flopped the top two pair. Scotty has flopped the bottom pair. Just painful to get to Scotty win. But you see the look on Scotty's face. He knows he's That's sick. an ace or a five right now to stay alive in this tournament. Absolutely devastating. Two cards away from being body bags. Nine. Nine of spades on the turn. That's not going to do it, no. So Scotty is down to the river card. He is going to drown unless it's an ace or a five right here and go out in fourth place. Can he pull off the miracle? No, he's not going to do it. Seven of spades comes off. So the popular Scotty Wynn is going to go out again in fourth place. The crowd mesmerized here as to how fast the action has been these last few hands where everybody calling, not bidding, calling and all they've been with a king eight. Amazing. And look at this. A standing ovation for the Prince of Poker, Scotty Wynn. A great, great entertaining poker player, a champion. He's our fourth place finisher. Yeah, he'll pick up $336,000. Right now, he's walking out of the arena saying to himself, I can't believe it. I moved all in on these guys twice. They called me with King Eight three consecutive times. What is going on here? Where's the bar? It's fun, but a little disappointed, you know. Mm -hmm. You're there, you're playing good, and. Mm -hmm. Same thing one of those days. Yeah. You gotta swallow it. He made a big mistake with eight nine spade. Oh yeah. He put two hundred in. I mean, what are you gonna do? Yeah. I had to call it. I wouldn't have made that play. We are down to three at Tunica the World Poker Open. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more on the World Poker Tour. To Murray saw a little action. This time he looks down to Queen Four Diamonds and throws it away. I'm not saying well when I play down for Cy Young. Town has played very conservatively so far today. And done anything foolishly? Limps in here with the King Six. Yes, he does. Now it's on Daniel Negrano. This time with Jack Seven. Off suit. And he checks, so we're going to have a flop here. And before play started, Daniel told me the one player he feared most at this table was Chow Chang. Here comes the flop. It's ace, jack, eight. Ace, jack, eight. Chow checks. And Daniel checks two jacks. And he got a piece of it, and he's going to play it a little bit slow. Now four comes on. Chow checks again. And Daniel again checks the two jacks. River card coming up. Oh, a king pops off. A reversal of fortune right there. Chow caught the only card where he can have the best hand. He has two kings now. He's going to make a value bet here. I don't blame him. This is a weird hand. I was trapping you. Wait a minute. And now you're betting. He bets 80000 I'm trapping him. He's betting. But what were you waiting for, Daniel? If I fall, that's a pretty bad trap. <laughs> <laughs> Six million. 
And John Stoltzman on short stack. Action on John Stoltzman. This time he looks down a little pair of threes. Let's take a look at the WPT Hole Camp sponsored by Michelob Amber. Look at He's got Ace Jack. And he's starting here. Yeah, he's starting. He's all in. Oh, boy. Well, he's going to force both Daniel and John to pick up a monster hand here. Daniel quickly folds. French top right back into John's face. I mean, wow. You would agree, he wants to get in coin flip situations. That certainly is the right strategy for him. Would you risk Daniel picking up a hand? For him to win this tournament, he's going to have to take some chances somewhere. Is it going to be here? No, it's not. He's laid it no. down. Well, it's a tough call to make with two threes right there. He opted to wait for a better spot. It's a good move, man. Chuck Chang's been playing like a motherfucking rock. So you were coin flip at best. Good move by the kid. Very impressed. He's been playing good. They can't blame him for making the raise, but this time Chow just taking the play from him. I don't think I had a coin flip. Well, they are so impressed by Johnny Stoltzman, only 23 years old, got into this event through a super satellite that means he only put up $1,000, and here he is going after millions. And that's what's amazing is his father staked him in that satellite, put up the 1000 or 50-50 partners in this tournament. That's one way you can pay for your kid's college tuition. What do you mean if over time? Because the dad's a one. <laughs> back to the action, back on the channel. Chow throws away ace deuce. Oh, that's pretty amazing. That's wow, ultra four. conservative, ace the chip one. leader. And look around at his time with queen four. He's going to raise it, makes it 140,000. Johnny with ace five going all in this time. I just I always Daniel quickly folds. Yes, he does. And John picks up the pot. Give this kid credit for 23 years old, man. I'm telling you, he's got heart. He's got games. Will a new WPT millionaire barge onto the record books? Find out when the World Poker Tour continues right after this. Do you like this song? What is that? A chicken sandwich? Oh, sure. And I ordered a burger, an extra burger, and a spaghetti. Welcome sandwich. back to the World Poker Tour. Tour. We are in Tunica, Mississippi, and we have three remaining here for the $1.5 million first prize. John Stoltzman creeping up the leaderboard here. Vince, can Cinderella put on the glass slipper tonight? Just incredible. He is playing great here. Not intimidated by these big superstars. Okay, action right back on Daniel Negrano. Throws away five and ten rewards. Into John Stoltzman this time. In the little blind with a queen ten. And he's going to raise it with the queen ten. Comes in for 200,000. Why not? Into the chip leader Chow. He's got king four hearts. He's got 50,000 in the pot. That's 150 more to call. This is a man that plays in the biggest side games in the world. But his kid said, Dad, do you really play poker? We don't believe you. He said, oh, I better start playing those tournaments on TV and prove it. And here he is on the World Poker Tour final table. He's proving it in a great way. Yeah, what a great opportunity to take this title. Sure. This time, he's going to make the call with King Four Hearts. Yes, he does. So we're going to have a flop here. Let's see the flop this time, though. Queen 10 versus King 4. Here's the flop. Now, flop is 995. Nine, John Stoltzman's gone all in with the Queen uh, High. You want this or not? Go ahead. And Chow abandoned um, ship here. You don't want Give this kid credit, Vance, you don't for want taking the fun. initiative, raising before the flop of Queen High, and then moving in when it comes 995. All right, you're wrong. You're really ready. Well, Mike, as you know, I mean, whether it's a bad beat or a bad play, you if you lose your cool at the poker table, you know, you're probably going to lose your money as well. Well, that's true. We call it steaming in the poker world. And our own Shauna Hyatt took a look at how to take advantage of an opponent when they blow their lid in this week's poker corner. It's bound to happen. Something goes 
is wrong at the poker table and a player starts steaming. While some players may enjoy the show, the smart ones know the time to strike is when your opponent's hot. this motherfucker right off the edge and then when the fucking old man rock we raised him he pushed all in and he lost it all one like one or two hands later it was so funny i don't know why but he raised he raised me and i repopped him and he folded and i showed him the bluff i just only because i just was kind of in the zone i knew that i could upset him and I did, and he lost his shit, and two hands later, when the rock we raised him, he fucking went all in, and he lost everything. I think he had nines, and the guy had, like, kings. Queen five and fold. Now it's all dead, and they grind out. Look at this. He's got the ladies, the Hilton sisters, Gabor sisters, or whatever you want to call them. It's a huge hand. And he just limps in with the bench. He's trying to trap John here. John's got ten seven off suit. And the table, so give us a flop. And the flop comes 9-8-3. Daniel with the Queens. Well, this time Daniel's coming out and betting it. And the interesting thing, this gives an open-ended straight draw to John Stoltzman. John says, I'm all in here. He's gone all in. I'm setting a trap, and my trap is... Look at Daniel. He says, well, I slow played this. What have I done now? I don't think I can throw this away. I don't think you can either, Daniel. <laughs> I hope you got a nine. I hope that's all you got. Because you know what, you're in trouble. You need two pair. Daniel's hoping he's got top pair here. He might have two pair. I call. Daniel can't well, get away from Well, Daniel's going to like it here. He's got two queens. He's up against the opening straight draw. He has a chance to break the young 23-year-old. Stoltzman must catch a six or a jack or two running cards in combination of a ten or a seven to stay alive in this tournament. Well, we are down to three players. This could be it. Close to heads up action. We're coming right back. Stay with us here on the World Poker Tour. He deserved that shit hitting him one out or in this Rocky. Ms. Rocky is the winner of this tournament. That's another tournament for Ms. Rocky, in my eyes. I gotta tell you, yes, he was lucky to catch that six, but I love the play of him going all in. I was hoping he had a nine. He didn't know Daniel had the over pair and was trapping him there. He was thinking Daniel might have had a pair of eights, a pair of threes, maybe a pair of nines, and would lay it down if he went all in. If not, he still had outs, as we say. He still had cards he could catch. A straight to win that pot. The college student from Madison, Wisconsin, is on a roll. And he's got a six. Well, he makes it two hundred thousand to go. Chow Ching picks up ace queen. Wow, nice hand by Chow. The last time. John made it 200,000. Chow moved all in. 
with an ace jack on. So here he's got ace queen. But here he's calling. Well, I don't think I have much choice. And look behind him. Daniel has big slick, and of course he's all in. Well, Daniel was going all in with any two cards. Absolutely. Fortunately for him, he picked up ace king, and right now he's a big favorite to win this pot. Yes, he is, but we also have a side pot between Chow and John. There's 150000 on the side. But Vince, those are tournament chips. You're talking about 400000 in real money. The difference between third and second, and they both want to get rid of Daniel here. Chances are this will be checked down. Well, he's got big slick. Five cards to come. And Daniel survived. He'll triple up if he does so. Here comes the flunk. Eight, seven. He's all spades. No channel checks. Notice that John has the nut flush ball, but he's checking. Well, the five of spades comes in. going to do it the end of the round. You have two flushes out there. John has made the nut, and he still checks. They both checked it. Here comes the river. It's a four of diamonds. Chow probably got to think his queen of spades is good right now. Look at this, he's going to make a little value bet here with the queen of spades. Open John will call him with something. He wants a little extra frosting. John's not going to call him, he's got the nut flush here. He's got the ace of spades. He said, well, I was going to check it down, but if you're going to bet me, I believe I'll hoist the flag a little here. 400,000. Chow, a very smart player. He knows John can only make that play with the ace of spades. He wouldn't even make it with the king of spades. That's going to do it for Danny Negreanu. If he wins his third title on the World Poker Tour this season, it's going to be in a future event. Not today. Just incredible. So close to taking the title. If he doesn't get his queens cracked, he was very close. But right now, he's a third place finisher. Can't blame John for raising with King High. <coughs> Chow is going to come over the top of him. Like he should with an ace jack. Heads up. Let's see how much he's going to raise it here. 200000 for him to call. He's going to raise it 450000 more. So right here on hand one, we could have some serious fireworks. Oh, the poker shootout has started. John won a gamble here with the King Nine. He's in position. Yes, he's called it. He's doing it, Vance. He is going to take a shot right here. Let's hope he picked up some legends. Catch a flop. Some legends. Here we go. Over Let's hope he picked up some uh, in the pot you know, a little little bits here and there. Just something to think action. about. Here's it's all about just being in the mindset. Oh, flop is ace, nine, three. But number, we, we got locked this in, man. We got to zone in. Pair. The cards won't Chow give us. We can't react around. emotionally to the cards. The cards have to be separate from us. And he chases John Stoltz The cards are just, just like a that. fraction of the equation. Didn't want to give him a free it's our minds. It's our, our, picking up a nice pot. It's our minds. And building his lead substantially difference. now, Vince. And with that, the okay. antis are going it's up to 10,000. Blind's going to be 40 and 80,000, Mike. Vance, if experience means anything, that bodes well for Chow. I believe that. He's been playing poker I longer than John's been alive. 1,000% right of my soul. Now it's on John that my will is greater deuces. than your will. And you can take that to the fucking it. bank. He's betting over 900,000. I'm going to pick up a hand right here. Chow says, I'm going to pick up a hand right here. Good, good hand, mate. Good hand, good hand. It looks like he's going to do it here, Vince. He's king of diamonds. He said, I call you, my friend. Absolutely huge hand. A monster for Chow. But he's got to help that hand. So far, the two deuces are out in front. He's king of diamonds. Wow, what a way to end it. Right now, Chow Chang, five cards away from winning his first World Poker Tour title. He shows big sick. But he's got to outdraw the kid who's got a pair of ducks. The difference is if Chow wins this tournament is over. If not, John's going to double up. Here comes the flop. Flop is 9-8-5. That is good for the kick so far. The deuce is out in front. Well, Chow's got to look for aces and kings. John's looking for small cards. Ace and king comes up. This thing will be a wrap. Here we go with the turn. Oh. 
John makes a full house, deuces full of house. And let's see what he's going to do with the king's six of hearts. He's going to raise it. 230,000 more he's making. Eight to John Stoltzman. But John has a pretty good hand, too. He's got queen 10. John is calling. I'll say one thing for John. He gives himself a chance to catch a flop. He's always calling with nine tens, nine sevens, queen tens. Let's see if he can get lucky here. Here's the first three. Flop is king, queen, four. They both hit pairs. Chow with kings, John with queens. John has checked it. Chow has moved all in. Look at the look that John's giving him right there, Vince. He knows this is a vast overbet. In other words, there's 600000 in the pot. Chow is betting nearly $3 million at it. He's a rock. You know he hit it. If he happens to make this call, this thing could be over. He would be a big dog. Any good players are supposed to play small pots against him. What John's thinking is, if he could beat two queens, would he really bet that much money? Will the overbet work here for Chow? Can he trap his opponent in the call? John lays it down. John. I'm shocked. Great lay down. Good awareness. Stoltzman, a true escape artist, getting away once again. It's not easy when you're playing heads up poker to get away from second pair. Chow's trying to bully him, but it's not going to work so far. Chow needs to go back to more of a chop it out type system when he has the best hand. He's got close to 3.4 million. He's a chip leader. He's got jack seven clubs right now. And he's got the seven eleven. Let's see what he's going to do with it. He's going to raise it. Makes it 300,000 to go. This guy never stops pushing, but right behind Stolpen with King Jack. He says all in, Vince. Oh, over the top on Chow. Without hesitation. Those are words that Chow did not want to hear right here, folks. I can tell you. He's got a jack seven is all he has. Boy, he changes grimaces right there. I think it's an easy lay down myself. This is not a hand you get a headache for. You just throw him up when the guy moves in on him. And there he goes. Well, he got on this guy is getting close. And we've got the anties and blinds of all that bike. $15,000 ante with sixty and $120,000 blinds. Yeah, the price of poker's getting up there, no question about it. And Vince, I can tell you, Chow knows he's got a battle on his hands. Back on Chow Chang, chip leader this time, he's got eight, seven. Chow's in a small blind. Oh. He's gonna call the big blind here. Yes. Tom knocks the table, so we're gonna have a flop. Tom has jack seven, Chow has eight, seven. The flop is jack, nine, three. That's nice, but John is a top pair. Look how quick they check, Rats. Set little trend on Chow's got the miracle inside straight draw. Maybe you can take a free card here, Rats. But he's not doing it. He's leading out and betting. Try to win the pot here. Quarter of a million dollars bet by Chow. But in the meantime, he's going to get a re-hit because John has a top pair and he's bet 800000 Back on Chow Chang. Because he won't put another 550 to look at it. He's going to flinch there, Vincent. That's because he's mad himself for 10 minutes. He's going to take a free card. Right. Now he can't stand to call the raise with a gunshot draw. Flinch him in the I think she just feel frustration setting in on Chow Chang. He's still the chip leader, but not by much. He has got his hands full with this 23-year-old from Madison. The young rookie taking it to the very experienced Chow Chang. Don't forget the winner's going to make 1.5 million. Get the cover of the WPT title. Here we go, Chow Chang. Look at this time at Ace Jack. He's just limping in there, Vince. Just calling with the Ace Jack. Okay, he's going to play a tricky now. John Stolson's got a king, ten of diamonds. Another strong hand. And he checks. Well, here we go. Two pretty good hands. Flop comes queen eight five. That's neither player, and they both check. Well, off comes the jack. Now Chow has a pair of jacks with the top kicker, but Stoltzman's got the open and straight draw. And he's going for his holster, Vince. And he's been the open and straight draw. Three hundred and forty thousand. That is a stiff bet right into Chow. Chow has hit his pair of jacks. He's got the big ace kicker. And he's saying, "Hey, this guy didn't raise before the flop. He didn't bet on the flop. Now all of a sudden he's going to bet something." Chow must think the pair of jacks are good. Indeed they are. He's going to look him up here, Vince. He's going to call the 340000 Nearly a million dollars in this pot right now. Stoltzman needs a lot of help. Here comes the winner. 
Oh, and Ace comes up. John Stoltzman is ready. Ace has great. John Stoltzman has gone all in. Channel's hit too fair. He's got Ace and Jack. Uh, as you mentioned, it's a king. She's sick. Oh, man, Lucy Boss is all in. How much is he up? He's got almost as many chips as you, Chow. You'll have a little over 200,000 left. If you make this call, because you're going to lose this pot, my friend. Chow Chang in the vice right now. Oh, this. What a tough lay down this is to make. Oh, if I lose this pot, I haven't got broke yet. If I ride, if I rise, I'll win the tournament. Johnny blinded, just praying for the call. Look at him. Oh, you're not kidding about that, Vince. You can feel his heart beating clear over here. He's saying, please call, please call, please call me. He would be real close to being the WPT's 18th millionaire. Ten. Look at that. Chow just called out. King 10. Would he have King 10? 10 King. The night 10. And the top. He's got aces up. Can he put him on one of those hands and get away from aces up here, Vince? I call him. He's calling it. He's done it. John Stoltzman turns up the nuts. He shows him Broadway, the ace high straight. That is a whiplash to Cha Chang. Folks, John Stoltzman, 23-year-old philosophy major from the University of Wisconsin, has nearly taken his title. Chow is down to about 230,000. I haven't seen this one in a while, man. That kid played fucking great. I mean, some good lay downs. So. Well, Great calls. I mean, just he's in the, the zone, zone man. He's locked in. Where he could put all those chips in the pot and not win it. He wouldn't call him if a nine came up. He wouldn't put all his money in the pot there because there'd be eight, nine, Jack Queen on the board. It had to come ace for Chow to lose all his chips there. That's what he's upset about. Well, very tough to get away from that hand. I don't see how he could possibly do it. But right now, John Stoltzman has a great opportunity. He is very close to winning this title. Jack three, Chow has live cards. Vince, he's won a satellite. He's turning it into a WPT title. And look at this. The father is coming down. He's on a cell phone. Wow, I forgot that kid won. Wow, what a game. That's our path. Remember that. Until next time, may your pots be live and your cards be monsters. Oh, I'm sorry. Will your cards, <laughs> your cards be live and your pots be monsters? That's being my sexism.